All right, so welcome to the Twine interactive, non-linear storytelling workshop. Uh, as soon as you do go to the website, which is twinery.org, uh, and that's spelled T-W-I-N-E-R-Y dot org, you'll be greeted with this page. And we'll have an object linking to it somewhere in our gather town. So I'll make sure to point that out when you do come visit. So you can access it either through clicking X and doing that, or just by typing it into your own browser. Uh, so again, this is the page that you'll get to. You're, you are able to download it, but you actually can use it online and it does store your previous projects. So when you click use it online, you'll be greeted by this window and yeah so you don't have to worry about downloading it every time which is great but definitely do that if if you are worried so in order to create a new story you just click create a new story and then you can just come up with a name for now i'll do a twine demo and really what this workshop today is, is just going to be to introduce you to the software and all the things, I guess some of the things, I don't know everything, uh, some of the things that you'll be able to do with it, uh, just the basic level stuff. But as always, totally explore and send us anything that you made and you love or something that you might want a little bit of help with and we would be happy to help you out with that. So. We created a new twine um, and it starts you out with just one kind of opening passage, I guess. So this is the beginning of your story. So I just clicked backspace on that because you can see all of the different ways that you can um, kind of code within uh, Twine. And it doesn't have to be, you know, super complicated stuff. But I think the most important one is the to link to another passage portion of this. So it says to link to another passage, write the link text and the passage name like this, or this or this. So let's kind of see. Uh, let's make an example here. So let me just kind of come up with something that might require two options. Okay, so you walk into a coffee shop. What do you order? And the person who's kind of participating in this story that you're writing, whatever choice they make can drastically impact the way that the story goes. So if I write like, coffee or tea, then these are our options. So let me just So in order to link the text, we're just gonna do those double squared brackets and then enter them in there. So double squared brackets. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, that's not the one. And you see something's happening. Where it's creating a link for us. Okay, so. The beginning. I don't think that you're going to see that uh, tag there. So yeah, as you can see, when we wrote uh, coffee and tea in those specific square brackets, I'm sorry, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> then it created the two passages just for those. And so now I can go on and write, you ordered coffee and Something has to happen because of that. So, 
and it might help to kind of pre-write your story before this. I don't even know. <laughs> um, all right, so you ordered coffee. And so now we have to have more choices. But again, I think that something still could still happen with this decision. So you ordered coffee, the barista hands it to you in a red mug. Red is your favorite color. So you're briefly really happy about this, but then you spill your coffee on your shirt, your white shirt. And so our choices now are going to be Do you let this impact your day? Yep. Oh, but we've got to do our double square brackets. So we see now we've got two more options. And then we go to edit the T. You ordered a jasmine green tea. You bump into your friend because again we have to give some choices here. Um, Ron, do you stay and chat? Or how about do you, yeah, do you stay and chat? Yes. No. And you see there it's suggesting some of the previous choices that we had written. Cool. And then from here, maybe, maybe saying yes was a bad idea and you reveal to your reader that you and Ron, or them and Ron, I guess in this case, actually have some really bad blood and saying yes was a terrible idea. Or maybe saying no was a bad idea because they missed an opportunity, all of these things. So I think that that kind of breaks down some of the ways our story can be written and can break off. So now let's get to one of my favorite parts, which is how does this all look? So if you press play, it brings you to a another uh, window, which is why you can't see me right now. But this is what people will see if you do decide you want to create a website with this, which is something that you totally can do. And I'd love to talk to you about that if that's something that you're interested in. But in any case, we have our first question. You walk into a coffee shop, what do you order? Coffee, always. And then, so you ordered coffee, the priest hands it to you. We see all of this and then we have our options here. So I click no and it says double click this passage to edit it because um, we haven't added anything else to the body of this. So you see how there is this, it's just white text on a black background and our choices uh, are highlighted in blue. That's something that we can change. So if this is a little too dark for your liking. If you want some, maybe a white background with red or black or uh, whatever text, then let's go here and edit it. 
Let's go to our colors. So it gives you a little example text preview. Um, so we have it currently on our default text color, but we can change it here. So let's make it black on our background, which we can make white. So we'll add that and then it adds it just for T. So if we want to, uh, let's, let's undo that because here, here's what it, it looks like. Yeah. So it just, since we didn't highlight anything, it literally just added it right there. So let's go back and do this properly. Oh, that is not what I wanted. Edit. We're going to go backspace here. We're going to go to this, do the same thing. We're going to do the entire page. And so that way it does everything. So let's see what that looks like now. See, there we go. So now we have black text on a white background and these are still hyperlinking as blue because they're links. All right. So those are the bare bones of using twine. This is really what you need just to get started. If you're interested in going even more into this, I can totally run a twine part two workshop if that's something that you're really interested in. And I would also love to run a workshop on how to add this to a website so that you can send it to people and they can experience your interactive, non-linear, choose your own adventure sort of story. So definitely let me know if you want me to go even more into this uh, or if you have any questions at all. But all in all, here's how we use Twine. Thank you so much for listening to this and I'll see you soon.